Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Gwendolyn Halle, I'm a medical microbiologist certified in the UK and I'm popularly known as the medical professional with the difference because I bring you knowledge on health, on medical hygiene and a lot more. Today we are going to be looking at a very interesting topic, particularly on the topic hymen. And we'll be answering some basic questions. And the first question is, must a lady bleed when she has sex for the first time? The second question is, what are the activities that can make a lady not to bleed when she's having sex for the first time? The third question is, can the hymen regrow? The fourth question, what are the functions of the hymen? The fifth question is, are there any abnormalities or disorders of the hymen? Before we dive into this class, if you're just joining this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and increase the visibility of this channel. And for all my returning subscribers, I'd love to say thank you. La creme de la creme. You are the best. Thank you for supporting me. So let's go there. Welcome back. So let's start with the first question. Must a lady bleed when she has sex for the first time? And the answer is no. Well, 50% of ladies bleed when they have sex for their first times. Why the other 50 don't bleed when they have sex for the first time? And what are the main reasons? This could be due to the activities or some certain things that may have happened in the lady's life before she has sex for the first time. So please do not expect a lady or a lady should not be expecting to see blood when she has sex for the first time. Remember, Hymen varies from one woman to another. The thickness of the hymen varies from one woman to another. There are some women that have abnormalities on their hymen, which we are going to talk about that later. There are different types of hymen. Not every woman has the same type of hymen. So the next question is, what is or are the functions of the hymen? What is the function of the hymen or what are the functions of the hymen? The truth is to date, scientists haven't proven or haven't been able to give us any functions of the hymen. In fact, the hymen doesn't actually have any function in the body or towards reproductive health or sexual health. So why worry about the hymen? Why is the hymen so important in some certain cultures in some certain traditions around the world well that's a question for you to answer so the next question is can the hymen regrow after it has been torn and the answer is no the hymen cannot regrow once it has been torn so do not expect that if you stop having sex for let me see four years, five years, ten years, you're expecting that your hymen will grow and you become a virgin. Again. So once your hymen has been torn, you are no longer a virgin. Even if you decide that you want to be celibate or you want to be sexually pure, you wouldn't become a virgin again. Your hymen will not we grow even after 10 years or 20 years of not having sex. So what are the activities that can cause a lady not to bleed the first time she's having sex? Point number one, vigorous exercises, gymnastics, climbing of trees, climbing of jungle gyms. In fact, riding bicycles, riding horses, masturbation. Yes, masturbation has torn a lot of hymens. And also uh, vaginal swaps, when the uh, medical professional or a medical microbiologist wants to collect swaps from a lady, uh, pap smear, 
pap smears or transvaginal scans, you know. So these are the different things that can cause a lady to tear her hymen even before she has sex for the first time. Before I dive into the different types of hymen, let me define what a hymen is. The hymen is a pink fleshy membrane that is found at the opening of the vagina and it's supposed to have a hole, a perforation that is wide enough to permit the flow of blood during menstruation. So if a lady is not able to have a blood flow out easily through her hymen, that means there's an abnormality with her hymen and that should be checked. In fact, I advise that every lady who starts her puberty, who starts from the age of 12, should actually start going for checkup, to start doing vaginal swab. So that should be checked. Imagine if you're having a, a hymen that is not perforated and you start seeing your menses and the menstrual blood actually flows but it's not able to come out of your body. Just imagine the infection that lady will begin to have. So this is very important. We'll start by looking at the different types of hymen and there are five different types of hymen and I start with point number one. Cribiform hymen. Cribiform hymen is when there are several tiny holes that have been perforated through the hymen. That means there are tiny holes on the hymen and these tiny holes do not permit the, the flow of blood easily through the, the, the vagina. So in that case, the, the girl's... Um, menstrual days is actually extended it's actually more if she's supposed to have her menstrual days for 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 four days you find out that you'll be going stretch right up to like seven days that's just because the menstrual blood cannot flow out easily imperforate hymen imperforate hymen is when there is no opening on the hymen at all in fact, this is very dangerous. This is an abnormality that is very dangerous because when a lady starts to menstruate, when her menses begin, on the first, in fact, she will be bleeding inside her body, but the menses, will, menstrual blood will not be able to flow out through her vagina. And that accumulation of the menstrual blood in her vagina can actually lead to infections. So this is why it is very important. In some uh, girls, it has been uh, noticed while she's born, when the baby is born, but in some women, it's until they are older and they find out that at this time they were supposed to see their period, but they are not seeing their period. There's no menstrual blood. So this is why it's good that young girls at the age before puberty or those times when they start seeing their, their, their menses, you know, you should actually send them for checkup. Microperforate hymen. Microperforate hymen is when there's a tiny opening of the hymen. Very tiny. Septed hymen is when there's like extra tissue on the hymen and you have like two holes on it. So that's something that also needs to be checked out. And the last one is annular or crescent shaped hymen. And this is what is very common with women around the world, which is considered as the normal hymen that a lady is supposed to have because it has the right type of size, right size of opening that can permit the outflow of blood easily through the vagina, the use of tampons, and also a good vaginal swap can be taken without any problems. So thank you very much for joining me on, on this short segment in this short class. Until next time, I remain your favorite medical microbiologist, Gwendolyn Halle. Bye-bye.